welcome Cynthia here from NB Pretty Papers up on the Kidaholic Kick Club as a guest designer for the month of December and January. So I'm going through my main kit that I received for the month of December and when I pulled the kit out the first thing that grabbed my eye was this gorgeous um, cut apart, no not cut apart, die cut, not die cut. Oh, cup file, that's it. Cup file from Amy Tangerine, and look at the gorgeous florals and leaves and wording among all that. So I knew I wanted to use that. I have to say, it did scare me a little bit as I don't have a silhouette or a, any type of machine that can do cup files. I very rarely use one, and so I wasn't too sure how I was going to use it. I knew that I would not be backing each floral individually because that is not me at all. Um, so I thought I would cut it down a little bit into more manageable pieces. So I go through and trim this out and I have intentions as I'm cutting it. I'm thinking that I will use the bottom half of the piece on my layout, but once I have it all cut out and I'm working around with the photo, I realise that it's just the photo's just not going to sit quite right. Um, you can see the leaves are going over people's faces, so I fiddle around with that for a while. And I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to use, but in the end, I do swap it out and go and use the top. You saw me just pick up that other piece of paper off to the left there. That is a Maggie Holmes paper um, from the Carousel Collection. It's a beautiful piece of paper. It was my favourite piece out of the pieces that we used. There it is there. And I wanted to use that as well, but I really feel once I put the cut file down that it gets lost on on that paper so I go through and I think maybe I'll use the black but once again the polka dots are just making the cut file get lost a little bit so or blend in I really want that cut file to pop off the background so I just pulled a black piece of cardstock from my stash and um, I will end up using that so I decided that, as I said, that I'm going to swap it out and use the top half of the page. And I put out the, my paints from my stash. And these are some shimmery paints. So they're just a cheap set that you can get from Spotlights here in Australia. And I love these paints because they just give that really nice glimmer to the, to the page and whatever it is that you paint. Also, we, we received in the kit as well, and I only get the main kit each month. Um, we received this month the Chamel sticker book, which has a 432 stickers in it. Massive, um, gorgeous stickers, nice and thick. I've pulled that book out and I'm using the colours to paint based on the colours that are in that book. Um, so I'm using the greens and the, the blues and the purples. Oh, just here I swapped out my black piece of... Um, oh no, piece, the black piece of um, whatever it was that I had underneath my cut file as it had paint all over it which was end up mixing in with what I was trying to paint here so I just swapped that out um, but as I said I was using the Chamel book to reference for what colours I was going to use to paint my florals with so I use a lot of the purples and the blues and greens and a little bit of um, a little bit of ready pink because there's a bit of that throughout the, the book as well Actually, there's a good range of colours in the book, which did, which did help. So I've painted all the florals, and I go to the book here to pick up to see what other colour seems to be 
in the uh, sticker sheets that I haven't used already and yellow is featured as well so I'll paint the bird and all my words in yellow and I think that really helps them pop out among the rest of the florals as well so really liking the way this is coming to, together it's looking that nice and bright and vibrant look that is what I was going for get the heat gun out and I dry all that off and that's it all dried now I still want to use that piece of floral paper but no I set it aside look at that bang doesn't that just pop off that back so much I really like the way that looks thought for a while that I would leave the border on the florals but in the end as you can see I decide to cut it off And I still like the way that it has the defined shape around the, the cut file. So it sort of goes around the edge of the, the page. I, I like the way that looks. Decided to trim that big leaf up there to, thought I'd just sit that leaf on top. But I end up slipping the photo under all of the, the floral bits there. Here it is using that piece of paper that I was desperately beaten trying to use. So I use it as a mat and I have a look at that to think mm, nice but decide it needs another mat. So I pull the same piece of paper back in and just flipped it over and used the back side of it as well. And I love that polka dot look with the pink background. It's gorgeous really liking that the way that looks so I do want that cut file as I probably said I can't quite remember whether I said I want it to be um, you know a main feature on the page it was so pretty so um, it's, it's I think it's really popping out nicely going through the sticker book and it is so thick that I did struggle to bend the pages back enough to get to the I'm decided I'm going to use this uh, washi here which was quite tricky to peel off the background. I had page wanted to fold down on me and they didn't want to peel off the background, so I had to get my craft knife out to help. And I'm going to put this strip down here just to help ground the photo as well. And I go in and peel off this other thinner piece that has the floral pattern on it. And put that down there. Go on back through to see what else I can use out of the sticker book. And I come back to it and end up using another couple of pieces. I get out the liquid adhesive. I just use a craft liquid adhesive. Nothing too flash or fancy. And I use that to glue down the cup file. Tick the photo down and then I just finished gluing the rest of that down. How has everyone been? It's leading up to Christmas and it is getting crazily busy. So I'm doing this voiceover on the 15th of December. I don't really know when this video is going to go live. So if you've had Christmas, I hope you've had a wonderful day and all went smoothly for you. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you've all just had a wonderful holiday. And if Christmas hasn't come and gone yet, well, <laughs> I hope in you're surviving. So I've pulled this bear off. As soon as I received the kit and I pulled it out, he was the first thing that I saw. And I thought, no, isn't he just adorable? Um, and his little banner says, perfect day. And I thought, well, that's sits perfect with what the photo is about so this is a photo of my mother's group so we've now been together for eight years so our eldest children that we have um, are obviously eight and we still get together so we went away for the weekend uh, we still get together um, I don't know, every few months, three or four months and go out for dinner and um, we try to go away for a weekend here and there throughout the year. 
put that little journaling there and I just write on there how I had an awesome weekend with these awesome ladies. Go through the little puffy stickers. These puffy stickers are from Maggie Holmes as well. Um, Chasing Dreams collection. And I put that little bird right there on the end of that journaling. I think he sits in just great there. He just looks like he has a little perch to sit. Then I pull out the um, wood veneer and it's also got some uh, acrylic pieces in it and some of the hearts and stars are like glittery and they're just gorgeous. Um, and I put a couple of those on and as I'm fiddling around I realise that it, one would look absolutely so cute if the bear was holding it and look at that. That fits in there just adorable. His hands are made for it. And that's pretty much it. I outline the, give the border in a white pen here I go I've added some paint platters paint splatters throughout the um, floral pieces also did some dots with the white pen just to um, give some more splattery effects through it and that is the end of the layout so if you like the video please give me a thumbs up um, jump on to the Kitaholic Kit Club YouTube channel and subscribe so you see the rest of their great work. They also have a Facebook page, um, the Kitaholic Kit Club. If you go searching for that, you should find that. Jump on and follow that page, uh, that page as well to see what other wonderful inspiration the ladies are doing. And that's the end of the layout. There's some, as you can see, there's some close photos, close up photos. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you on the next one. Have a wonderful day, wonderful Christmas and New Year. Bye.